Hi everybody, and welcome back to my let's play of Plants vs. Zombies. And so far we've gotten down three mini games so far out of god knows how many. And I'm thinking about just doing a couple of them all in one video today for a change. Um, perhaps, that, uh, perhaps that's more of a intelligent thing to do. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a lot easier to view that way, but yeah. We're going to do it that way for today. And first let's tend to our plants here in our nice little zen garden. As they ask for more water and uh, we reap the benefits of it. And we're almost reaching the five digits for this, so that's nice. Probably do some upgrades later on. Come on, I know you want some. Jeez, holding out on me. And let's see how much longer it'll be. Come on. There we go. This one's ready to grow up. How about you? Ooh, a thousand dollars. Nice. That's it. Another. Nice. Alright, let's go on to the mini games. Uh, be Gould. And, you know, everybody should know what this game's all about. If you've played Bejeweled, then you pretty much know what this is except you have zombies coming your way also so essentially what you do is yes you just click and drag the plants to make a row to match three of the uh, you know three in a row yeah just reading it <laughs> and yes this one's far easier than the other version that you have to do in this game much easier but yes in this game you also have the ability to upgrade so essentially to beat this game you just have to get what 75 matches but you also have to keep in mind that you have zombies trying to eat up your plants here and if they get to this side then it's game over which is sometimes highly unlikely that they will do that but you know in order to make the process easier and like less stressful on you you have the ability to upgrade your plants, so we have enough to upgrade this into taunuts. So just in case, like, they're up here, then it'll take them far much longer to um, get through. So, And also you can get repeaters, or you can also get, um, oh my gosh, what is this guy? What? The fume shroom, yes, the fume shroom. Don't know why I, I just like blanked out there, but it is like 1.17 in the morning, but whatever. Just keep making our matches here and um, preferably do this as fast as possible just so, you know, we don't get overrun by zombies here because they do throw more at you. And... Yeah, this is a rather, this is a pretty easy mini game out of them all, really. Just doing matches. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got the newspaper guys here, huh? Maddie you didn't get your morning newspaper today. Let's see, match that up. Up, 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 up. Get that there. I'd like to upgrade the repeaters, but, um, oh, we almost have enough for it, so why not? Chill out, dude. Um, oh my god, where's the match here? Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's just hard to find it sometimes. But now we got repeaters, and, pff, yeah, with those guys out, we really don't have to worry about with, uh, what comes out. Except they did eat a plant right down here, which I just noticed. If that's the case, then you have the ability to fill it in with a new plant with this uh, guy here. And also you can, uh, for a hundred sun, you can reorganize it so you get like a fresh start. So just in case like you just completely blank out and can't find a match, then maybe that'll be worthwhile. Let's see, we bought a new plant. And we're almost there, almost. Uh, there we go. And they ate it again, I can't believe that. Oh. 
Not like that I'm worried or anything, since... Highly unlikely at this point that they're gonna really get through my defenses. There we go. Um... Where is a match here? Um... Get the money... Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was... I don't know. Sometimes it's just not as obvious to me where they are. It's just like they're real hidden sometimes. Give me your money. And our final upgrade. Which is pretty nice. It makes it a lot easier actually to see like matches now. Since they're so like in your face. Uh, okay, yeah. Especially the Taunuts. I mean, God, those things are humongous. And we got more sun, and... Yeah, I think, like, one more match, I believe. Is it? Yep. And we get our, um, our trophy. And a thousand dollars. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, we unlocked a new minigame. Uh, oh, Zombie Aquarium. Yeah, that one's... Also another one of those easy mini games, but they're not so fun really in my opinion. Oh, Invisigool, this one. This is quite annoying because as you can see, you can't see them. So it's like pretty much luck on where you place them. I mean, is it the right row? No. So you really have no idea except to do this they leave a little ice uh, a little mark there let's say so at least you can tell where they are through that method but still it's it can be really annoying once the cone heads and the bucket heads come out then it becomes a lot more stressful and also when you use these to try and find out where they are it doesn't work for zombies that are in the water they just simply won't show up, so it's a complete mystery, like where they are at all times, really. And why aren't you like dead yet? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Wow, see, I did not even know about that. Let's see it. Where are they? See, I really have no idea. We might put that there just in case, since... Wait, is that just a pea shooter? Aw. Oh. These are all pea shooters. I was... Kind of hoped they were, like, repeaters or something. But then again, that would make it far too easy, huh? See, we got the cone heads. Um, yeah, thankfully it's not the bucket heads yet. Those guys are just awful. Money. Money, money, money. And now we have like nothing to use here, but... This will be also nice since you can, you know, it has a chance of throwing butter on their heads, so... That little extra slowdown is very useful for this stage. Oh my god, no, don't eat them. Okay. Um, yeah, I would usually reserve these walnuts for use on the water tiles since that's more like unknown. You have no idea when, like, how many are there or not. So it's nice to have that little extra defense here. Where's that bucket head? Oh, right here. Let's just get rid of it immediately. I hate those guys on this stage. They're nothing but trouble. See, now I really can't tell what kind of zombie it is. Like, it, is it a cone head or is it just like a regular zombie? It's just so many unknowns about this game. Or this uh, stage, I should say. But I like the money though. Give me more money. And, um, hmm. 
here. What else is there to say? Um, I don't know. Aside from this game, um, there have been some interesting developments in life in general, really. Um, okay. Yeah, there's going to be that sake seminar very soon. Uh, on Saturday this week, actually. Which is going to be pretty cool, actually. Um, how many times can I say actually? Yeah. What? Wait a second, where's that coming from? Oh, you lousy thing. I can't believe that actually comes on this stage. But yeah, that sake seminar is going to be coming up this week. So I'm pretty uh, excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll also get to try out some new sakes and I think we'll probably like... I don't know, I think we might actually already have the sakes that they're going to try. I'm not 100% sure. But if they do bring in some new ones then we're most likely going to buy them in. And a lot of it too. But yeah, I'm starting to de uh, develop more as a sake specialist at that store. And, you know, all the higher-ups are starting to take notice of it, which is always nice. Because the better you look to these people, the more worthwhile it is. So just keep that in mind for whatever, like, job you're going for. Even if it sucks, just always give it your best. You're 100%. Otherwise, you know, you just look like a slacker. And, you know, that kind of stuff does follow you throughout the rest of your life, no matter like what kind of job you get. What? Whoa, no, no, no. Get out of there, buddy. But yeah, you want to always... You always want to present yourself as a very capable person, no matter what kind of job you have, whether it's the beginning or later on in life. The more you look professional to these people, then it really says a lot about who you are. And it does bring a lot of good things to your life. So, just keep that in mind as you, um... Whether you're going for your first job or... Oh my god, no. Uh... Yeah, whether you're going for your first job or... You're looking for another one, whatever. Just always um, be the best that you can be. Oh my god. Really? I did not know these freaking zombies around this stage. This is ridiculous. Uh, oh my god. No, leap. Are you gonna die? Thank you, my. Oh, this is not good, especially. If Oh, thank you, Squash, finally. I completely lost track of what I was even saying, because this threw me off so badly. It's freaking... Oh my god. No, don't eat that, please. Well, that's nice. At least that disappeared, but... So did, like, all my plants here. Jerk. We have just, like, one more... F just one more flag to go? If you'd ever die? I mean... And so I wait. And so I wait. In this... Messed up story that is called life. And it's... Why don't you just die? Wait, where is that coming from? You? You're dead. You're dead. No dolphin zombies. I'm surprised about that. But I'm also happy at the same time. Was well, it just you guys here?
I think you're a bucket head, actually, so... Yup. And... You know what? That ended a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest. So that's usually a tricky minigame for me. But we did just fine on it, so let's move on. 15 minutes, so yeah, let's do another. Seeing stars, and this is, you know, not groundbreaking material here, but it's pretty interesting nonetheless. Uh, it pretty much on the ground there's a s shape of a star, and you have to plant these guys within that shape. And that's all you can plant, actually, so... You can't plant anything else, so just don't expect to be able to do so. And, um, yeah, stuff like that. If I made sense. But yeah, only star shroom, um... Only, uh, star fruit, yeah, star fruit. Forget the name so soon. But yeah, just plant the star fruits within here. Once you do so, you win the game. As easy as that. Once you get a whole bunch of these guys built up, then it's just like they decimate the opposition. Effortlessly, really. And that's all I have to say about that. Nothing much you can say about this uh, mini game. It's just so obvious. And uh, see, luckily, finally, that uh, heat, that heat wave we had like earlier, or like last week, I should say, it finally like dissipated a lot. It's actually like normal nowadays. It's like um, maybe in mid 70s about no humidity which is always nice cuz I'm not a fan at all of humidity not one bit and let's see let's see you're in danger so put you there but yeah it really raises the mood so, uh, with like the temperature actually being normal for once Uh, do I want to plant more sun? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I've been working on a lot of other projects besides this one lately. I've just been, like, in a mood to, like, you know, try out a whole bunch of different games and, you know, see how I can record. Oh, no, no. That's sucks. Yeah, I wanted to see how I can uh, record different games and just see how hard of a process it would be, but so far it's uh, the results have been pretty positive in my opinion. Just me assessing it. Really can't complain. And strangely enough, um, the Super Monday Night Combat videos seem to be doing the best out of anything I've done so far. Which is interesting, but also pretty cool. And it's a really fun game too, so... You know, I'm surprised there's not like a bigger following for that game. Because, you know, it just seems like so few people play that game now. But I think like a... I think it definitely warrants a bigger audience. Just because it's like... It's a humorous game, but... It also revolves a, involves a, like a, a lot of teamwork as well. Otherwise, you're just gonna get like decimated in any game you play. I found out like the hard way so many times playing it. But like a game I recently played, uh, I had a really good medic on my team, and it was just me and him going up in the front lines, and we just like destroyed people. It wasn't even funny. That was like the first instance when uh, teamwork actually worked in my favor. Then like, um, you know, there's like so many different ideas I've had lately concerning like videos to do. Oh, thank you, God. 
Like I've been doing like a Mega Man LP lately. And I I found it to be very fun to do. Um, not only because it's like, you know, something everybody knows so well, but it's also a game that I haven't really given enough attention when I was a... Uh, when I was growing up, it was like one of those underrated games in my opinion. Like, to me it was. So, you know, I want to spend some more time playing that game. And just like, you know, seeing what I missed out when I was a kid. Because, you know, like I said in that video, um, you know, I used to play when I was a kid, like, only like the Robot Masters, and that was pretty much it. I never did the Riley stages, because I, I always like ignored them. Because I always thought the challenge was defeating the Robot Masters. Anything else was like, you know, forget it. No point to doing it. And that is another mini game for us. And we unlock Big Trouble Little Zombie. And you know, I'm pretty sure you have an idea of what that's like. But we'll call it a video t for now. And in the next video, we'll be doing some Zombie Aquarium. And I will see you later, folks. Sayonara. Ciao.